Okay, welcome to Accelerated Math. Determine the graph of a two-variable absolute value equation. Okay, um, basically we're just trying to figure out which graph it is. It makes you feel like you're going to have to create an XY table, but you know what? There's a really simple way to do this, and I'm going to pull up this um, learning card that we did in my class just to kind of point out how easy this is. Now, you may be looking at this going, whoa, that's a lot of information, but i tell you what I want you to focus on is this part over here, and that is uh, graphing uh, from an absolute value function. And let's just take a quick look at it. Really, we're looking for this little format here, a times the absolute value of x minus h plus k. And uh, we're trying to pick out the a value, which is a slope, and the hk, which is the vertex. And you're probably going to notice on some of these on this accelerated math that the a value, the h value, or the k value, one of those or more of those may be missing from it. So if it is missing, we're simply going to add them in as shown down here. We're just going to add them in. So here's an extreme example where we just have the parent function, the absolute value. There's no a value, so we're going to put it in. So it's 1 times all this. There was no h value, so we're just going to put x minus h. And you might be wondering what the minus is all about, but we'll see that in a minute. And then the plus 0 on the end, because there wasn't anything out there, and that gives us our a, our h, and our k. Now, what do you, what do, you do with this a, h, and k? Well, the a is our slope, as we said, and we'll see that in a second. Uh, the h, k is kind of a starting point for us. That's the vertex. So in this particular example, the negative 2 and the, ne and the positive 1, I'm sorry, the positive 2, I know you're saying it's, it's x minus h, so that's how we got 2, 1 plotted out of that. And the slope of down 2 and over 3 gave us our first point. By the way, you go both directions on this because absolute value is always going to give us this V shape. Okay, just wanted you to see that, and uh, if you need to pause it here, take a look at it, and then restart this in just a second, you're welcome to do that. But right now I'm going to pull it off there so you can pause it at this point if you need to look at it. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, this one, as I said, if the, the A value is there, the H value and the K value are missing, so I'm going to write it in there, 4 times the absolute value of X minus 0, and then plus 0 out on the side. So here's our HK values at 0, 0. So we know that this one has a vertex at 0, 0. Based on the information, can I eliminate any of these? No, they all have their vertex sitting at 0, 0, so I can't eliminate a single one of these. Well, that didn't do me much good. All right, so let's take a look at the A value. That's the uh, 4. Uh, 4 can be written as, a, well, I said that was our slope. And 4 can be written as a fraction like this. So it's basically rise over run. And let's take a look at it. Because it's positive, it's going to be an upward-facing um, absolute value function, not a reflection. So I can uh, immediately eliminate these two as reflections they would have had to have been a negative 4 out front. All right, and then this one, I'm going to just go up 4 and over 1. No. Okay, but here I go up 4 and over 1, and it's right on. I go up 4 and over 1, and it's right on. So it's C. Easy enough. All right, next one. Uh, again, all right, now, so on this one, the A value is missing. The H value is missing there, but it does have the K. So let's rewrite it. It is 1 times... Uh, the absolute value of x minus, there was no h, so I'll put one in there, and plus 2. So we've got a vertex of 0, 2. Can we eliminate any of these? Yes, we can. Look at that. We can eliminate that one and that one. And because they were down at 0, negative 2. And then the a value, or our slope, is positive 1. So it means it goes up 1 over 1. Because this is a positive value, it can't be this one. It must be this one. Let's just double check. It goes up one, over one, up one, over one. The other direction, it is B. Woo, these are easy. About time we had an easy one. All right, A value here. Watch out. That's negative. What does that mean about it? It's going to be facing downward. It's a reflection over the x-axis, so I can eliminate the two positive ones. All right, let's go ahead and add the other variables in there. X minus H plus k. Those weren't in there, so the vertex is at 0, 0, and it has a slope of negative 3 over 1. So look at this. This one starts at 0, 0, 
but it does not go down three and over one, down three and over one. It must be this one. Let's double check. From zero, zero goes down three and whoops, over one, down three, over one. It is C. Woo. Come on. All right. Uh, here we're missing our A value. What's out in front here if there's nothing? Is it, is it zero? No, it's, it's times this, so it has to be a one. So our A value is one. The H value is one because the, the, the formula is X minus H. So when it says X minus one, H is one. And you might be saying, ah, it looks like negative one. But the formula is x minus whatever h is. So if you ended up having x plus one, well, we'll see that in the next one, I think. So the h value on this is one. And then there is no k value. So we're just going to put a zero in for it. Again, we've got an a value of one. All right. So we're starting at one, zero. Uh, well, this one is zero, one. That, that coordinate is zero, one. So that's not it. And then this coordinate is 0, negative 1, so that's not it. It's one of these two left here. One of them is going upwards. It's that one because it's starting at 1, 0, and it's going up 1 over 1 in both directions, up 1 over 1. It is not D because it's not going up 1 over 1. It's going down 1 over 1, so it's not D, it's C. All right, now I think we're on our last one, and this is the one I said, okay, we'll see that in a second no a value, so I'm going to rewrite this as 1 times the absolute value of x plus 6 plus 0 because there was no k value. So my a, is the, uh, which is the slope, is equal to 1. All right, so uh, these two are out because they're going down, not a reflection. Okay, And then this part over here, now I want you to notice, I'm going to rewrite this because I want to get it in that x minus h type format. Well, if it's x plus 6, I could rewrite it, and I hope this doesn't confuse a lot of people, but I could rewrite it like that, x minus negative h, to get it truly in this x minus h format. And now you can see that h really is negative 6. And you're saying, why is that? Why, why x minus negative 6? Well, I could slash slash that just to prove to you because minus subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding its inverse or doing this slash slash thing to it. So it is the same thing as six, uh, x plus 6. And then, of course, we had the 0 out on the end that we had to add. So the vertex is at negative 6, 0, which puts us over here negative 6, 0. Does this one really go up 1 over 1 and up 1 over 1 the other direction? Yes. The answer is B. Told you this stuff was easy. Uh, the only confusing part that I can see really is this little part with that x plus 6 turning into x minus negative 6 so that you know h is negative 6. Have fun with it. Goodbye.